Nearly two-thirds of Americans say they're more likely to support candidates who support the right to abortion in the midterm elections. That's according to a Reuters Ipsos poll of nearly a thousand people. It was conducted just hours after the draft opinion leaked on Monday. The poll also finding that 41 percent of Americans think that repealing Roe v. Wade would make the U.S worse to live in. Uh, nevertheless, the leak sent shockwaves all across America. It sent off a wave of protest demonstrations, and we're, of course, going to see more this week. Ileana Diaz live in Miami uh, with that part of our coverage. Good morning, Ileana. Good morning, Adrian. It has been a busy and emotional last 24 hours for so many people. In fact, the last 12 hours here have been very busy. This entire area was covered with protesters, and that's really been the case all over the country. Take a look at this video. This is from last night in Los Angeles. Protesters were there marching in Pershing Square. That's downtown Los Angeles. Police were there escorting them when all of a sudden some protesters started throwing rocks and bottles at officers. One officer was injured, but Adrian, for the most part, protests across the country have been safe, they've been calm, and people have been focused on the issue. From coast to coast, thousands of people are taking to the streets holding signs with clear messages. Many are demanding abortion rights be protected after the leak of a draft Supreme Court opinion that would overturn the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade decision to legalize abortion. This pro-choice rally in New York City had more than 2,000 demonstrators who blocked traffic, then huddled around to listen to speakers. New York Attorney General Letitia James was one of them, and she shared her own story. And I chose to have an abortion. I walked proudly into Planned Parenthood. Organizers from the Women's March urged people from Florida to California to protest at their local federal buildings. They did. From both sides, people loudly and peacefully speaking out. Pro-life supporters lined up outside the Supreme Court in D.C. They say this is the moment they've been fighting for. It's an exhilarating moment because we've got them on the run. There is no right to kill a baby. We're happy to stand for the unborn today. Um, we're happy to show the Supreme Court that there are people out there supporting this decision. The most extreme demonstration was across the country in San Francisco. This man calls himself the pro-life Spider-Man. He free climbed 60 floors of the Salesforce Tower to protest abortion. Now, that man was arrested when he got to the top of the, of the tower. But again, Adrian, for the most part, things have been pretty calm, pretty quiet, and people pretty respectful across the country. There are more protests later on today and throughout the week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.